Hello everyone, my name is Amy Kitchen and this is Karen Schmidt. We are the curators of a new show at Delray Artisans called The Women's Right to Vote, 100 Years Since the 19th Amendment. This show runs November 6th through the 28th. And we are delighted to have with us Alexandria's Vice Mayor Elizabeth Bennett Parker, who has agreed to present the winners of this exhibit um, in both the members and the student categories. Elizabeth, would you like to share a few words about um, what interested you in this show? Karen, it's great to finally meet you in Zoom. Thank you for having me. I feel privileged to be a part of this important exhibit that celebrates the achievements of American women over the past 100 years since the ratification of the 19th Amendment. We are living through a critical time in history when the fear of voter suppression and infringement of constitutional rights are both taking place during a public health crisis. I feel that this show is a perfect reminder of how important it is that every voice gets expressed, and that equality is not something that can be achieved until every vote gets counted. That's wonderful, Elizabeth. Thank you for sharing that. I love that the Delray Artisans can be a place where the concerns, achievements, and the ideas in the community can be shared. For over 25 years, Delray Artisans has created opportunities through art. Delray Artisans was founded in 1992 to promote the benefit for artists in the community. Thanks, Karen. Now, before we announce the winners of this show, I just wanna talk briefly about the original concept behind it. It was co-curator Drew Cariazzo who came up with the idea to focus on the pivotal moment 100 years ago when the Tennessee legislature met, known as the War of the Roses. Now, Tennessee was the last state to vote on the ratification of the 19th Amendment, and it came down to a very fierce and tense 48 to 48 tie between the pros and the antis. At that time, rose lapels became a political adornment, and yellow roses came to symbolize the work and the efforts of the suffragists, while the, while the red rose represented those who were opposed. Our exhibit, The War of the Roses, was scheduled to take place in April of this year, but then the COVID pandemic forced us to close our doors. We at Delray Artisans didn't want to miss the opportunity to celebrate this special centennial. So with fingers crossed, we rescheduled it for November this month, perfectly set amidst the presidential election. This time it was more broadly and simply retitled to the women's right to vote. We had about 50 artists and 91 entries and a lot of support from our sponsors. Elizabeth, are you ready to announce the winners? I'm excited to announce the winners. There are three pieces in Delray Artisans members category that the curators selected for honorable mention. They are a textile assemblage piece called Before Seneca Falls by Beth Richardson. a detailed digital collage called Purple for Loyalty by Gordon Frank, and an oil on wood painting called Lifting as We Climb, Sojourner Truth by Kathy Turner. In the Delray Artisans Members category, the third place winner is Michelle Rade Cook with her sculptural mixed media piece, I Stand Before You. The curators felt that this piece was extremely relevant, contemporary, and thought-provoking. The second place winner is Teresa Kolstad with her piece, Nevertheless. The curators felt that through its multiple layers of paper, paint, and ink, it radiated a boldness and resilience that was almost mythical. And the first place winner is Donna Reinsell with her fabric piece, Votes for Women. The curators thought this tiny work was beautifully crafted and symbolized the feminine spirit, strength, and ideals. Thank you and congratulations to each of our members category winners. I'm very excited to announce this next category, the high school student category. But first of all, I wanna say thank you to all the students who submitted artwork. Thank you for taking time to remember this special anniversary. I want to extend my very best to you. In the high school student category for honorable mention, the curators recognize high school senior Lena Wayman for her beautifully tense yet introspective piece, Silenced. The third place winner is Carly Cameron with her photograph, Resist. 
The curators thought this piece beautifully portrayed strength and courage and fresh hope as the group of young women in this photo exercised their rights to peaceful protest. The second place winner is Julia Hawker with her short educational film, Lila Mead Valentine, the story of a Virginian suffragette. Curators appreciated how Julia thoughtfully edited and used archival photographs and careful narration to transport viewers back to a time when the women's suffrage movement was gaining momentum. And finally, the first place winner of the high school student category is Rebecca Carabin and her acrylic piece, Smile. The curators thought this piece was truly outstanding and described it as vivid, provocative, and powerful in its representation of women of all ages and ethnicities. Thank you and congratulations, students. Congratulations to all our winners. Yes, Amy and I will be reaching out to each of our winners to receive the ribbons and cash prizes. Before we wrap up this presentation, I wanna be sure to thank our sponsors, the Kiwanis Club of Alexandria and our community partner, MCD Mateos McDonald's. I also wanna thank Drew Carriazzo and the board and staff of the Delray Artisans. We are especially thankful to Vice Mayor Elizabeth Bennett Parker for joining us and presenting our awards today. Thank you. The Women's Right to Vote exhibit runs November 6th through the 28th. Gallery hours are Thursday and Friday, 12 noon to 6, and Saturday, 12 noon to 4. Admission is free, and the gallery is accessible and open to the public. Be sure to look for more information about an artist and curator talk on Zoom on Thursday, November 12th at 7 p.m. Thank you so much for inviting me again to be a part of this show. Thank you, Karen and Amy, for curating this exhibit and to the Delray Artisans for bringing it forward. I think it's incredibly important as we've discussed and congratulations again to all the winners. <laughs>